All right, guys, we're going to get started in just a moment here. There we go. So, happy Thursday, everybody. It's uh, been kind of a grueling week. I don't know. It's been all right. It's been okay. But I'm excited to be streaming The Witcher 2. Um... It's, I was just thinking to myself, like, for some reason, I remember the first Witcher better than I do the second. Oops, hey, look at that. Um, so, I don't know. I, I, I definitely enjoyed this game. I don't know if the first one made a stronger impression or not. I don't know. Um, but either way, I'm excited to be playing this. And... It's going to be a lot of fun because I'm actually, like I said, I don't remember it real well. Like the first one, for some reason, I always, I constantly had an impression of where I was supposed to be going, what I was supposed to be doing. I mean, with the exception of a few boss battles. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, but yeah. Oh, hey, look at that. This is going to be an, an interesting playthrough. Like most of the games that I stream, I know inside and out. And I love The Witcher. But yeah, you know, before this last time replaying the the, the Witcher one, I'd only ever replayed uh, I'd only ever played each game once. Okay. Yep. So yeah, we are in Flotsam, and I think for the first part, we're going to be doing a lot of just walking around and talking. Like we've got some catching up to do with some friends. Greetings. Okay. I actually went to a junior high with a girl named Ludmila. Your service? What? <laughs> Damn, that was close. Inkeep! Vodka! Tris Merigold! Lice eat me, but you are a treat to behold. Uh, just a little pale. Magic takes its toll, but I'll be all right. Good to see you in your beard again. Can somebody tell me what happened? You set off a month ago for Zoltan's wedding. Love got fucked. There will be no wedding. Did you hear about Fortest? Rumors travel faster than the wind. Winds and rumors. I want to know the truth. I want to know how Fortest died. And the dragon, was there really one there? And who rules Temeria now? Dandelion, calm down. You'll choke on your liquor. Yeah, actually, yeah, it's funny. They kind of skipped over Zoltan not getting married. Um. No wedding, Zoltan. <laughs> the Bregan Riggs broke off the engagement because some limp prick put it about that I joined the uprising in Vizima. I would be Popper Law refused to let a rebel firebrand join the family. And keep, where's our drink? It was like this. We got to Mahakam a week after the Grandmaster died. Bought Zoltan an absolutely grand doublet, a pair of Garibaldi crack owls, and as a gift for Eudora, a jade stone as big as my fist. You were broke as a joke by the time Dandelion threw me a bachelor party at an establishment called the Tight Lane. Next day, we went over to the Breckenrigs. They welcomed us in, sat us down, and proceeded to discuss the superiority of Mahakaman mining know-how over any other. And that went on until dinner. Just when I thought I'd learned more than I ever wanted to know about mining, 
they serve the soup. You could have held a pen drop. Old Breckenridge grows and he says, A real dwarf works a bane, not chases fame on the battlefield. You'll never believe this, Geralt, but they served duck blood soup. It was as black as tar. They must have dropped lumps of coal into the pot. Uh, eat, Breckenrick says, then proceeded to slop two full bowls of the shite. Old goat. Hope his mind caves in on his head. Laredo said you're working with the Scoyatels, Alton. I have done many things in my life, Geralt, but I have never stooped to banditry. The Scoyatel don't consider themselves bandits. But I am no Scoyatel. Since when have you worked for Roach? Hey, nobody said a word when you went out to save Temeria from the Grand Master and his mutants. Relax, Dandelion. I was just asking. Do what you want. You're an adult, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't very supportive. Laugh away. At least I decided to do something constructive. You used to spy for Redania, now you're spying for Temeria. Some might call you a traitor. Ever tried to live off of poetry alone? The truth is, I'm a citizen of the world. As long as I don't serve Emperor Emir, I'm not doing any harm. Even me, Geralt. You play the spy a bit, get bored and drop it. You know how he is. The dragon. Well, the dragon appeared and that's all I know. But where did the Lavalettes get a dragon? We heard it fought on their side, huge as a barn, they say. Dragons don't usually take sides. Maybe its lair was nearby and it just felt threatened. If you hadn't driven it off, Foltis might not have taken the castle. Maybe. We'll never know for sure. Triss, you're the expert on Temeria. Tell us who's in charge now. It's chaotic and getting worse. The old families are fighting for supremacy, no holds barred. Baron Kimball. Devlin Games, thank you. Among others, after the assassination, while Geralt was in the dungeon, the lords convened in a field near Lavalette Castle to choose a new ruler. Three days they debated, and it looked more like a bazaar than a meeting of nobles. Except the trade was in court and ministry positions, spheres of influence, royal privileges. <laughs> Humans. In spite of several duels and two poisonings, no king was chosen. Civil war was in the air. So how you doing tonight, Davlin Games? <clears throat> Excuse me. Did they ultimately resolve anything? No. It ended as usual. Sadly, John Natalis remains our only hope. Ah, the victor at Brenna, and Foltest's most tried and true field commander. Hmm. Thank During you, Mr. Games. Much appreciate the biddies. March from Lavalette Lambs, with an additional 2,000 armed men in tow. He's to keep the peace until a rightful monarch is chosen. He could find that ruling is to his liking. Natalis is a soldier at heart. He's not suited to rule, and I don't believe he even wants to. He's got the army behind him. Which is why he can guarantee peace. Why, well, a tenuous one, sure, but that's always better than civil war. Besides which, he's deeply in debt to a dwarven bank in which Philippa Eilhart as sorceress holds significant stake. Yeah, I'm doing pretty well, man. Um, I'm, I'm, I inadvertently set Thursday Thursday night up to always be awesome because, like this, the Witcher series is the perfect warm-up to the weekend. Like it's so raw, and it's just I don't know. It's so good at getting you warmed up. And at this point, I'm hoping just to kind of coast into Friday evening. We'll see what happens. It's been. Uh, it hasn't been a bad week, but it's been a, like a hard working week. Like as in I've had to work hard. Um, excuse me. So yeah, but uh, I'm loving it, man. I'm having a good time. Oh, I came up with a, a good flavor for uh, Bean Boozle, by the way. Um, and for those that don't know, be like so. Davlin Games, Davlin underscore Games, fantastic streamer, um, variety streamer, great guy, good friend. And uh, he eats. If you cheer 333 bits on his channel, he uh, he has these jelly beans called Bean Boozled, and and 
each of them is either a good flavor or a bad flavor. So like, you know, maybe a white one is, you know, it's like something yummy or it's curdled milk, you know, that kind of stuff. Sorry for all the buildup. But per our discussion the other night, I think the perfect bean boozled, like nasty flavor would be IPA. Like you, you eat it and if it's a good flavor, it's a lager. And if it's a bad flavor, it's an IPA because I fucking hate IPAs. So, anyway, that's my funny bit for the night. Where were the mages? Aye, where were the gray eminences of this world when they were truly needed? They weren't invited, neither was I. But if not for their intervention, or rather that of a few influential sorceresses, Baron Kimball would have taken the throne. I was invited to sing at his court once. Afterwards, he refused to pay me, and the food was awful. No way I'll stay in Temeria if he's crowned. So how's WoW treating you, Mr. Games? I think I've heard enough about politics. Full test killer lay in wait in the tower, where the Lavalettes had hidden the royal bastards. He was well informed. Wait a minute. What were you doing there? I was protecting the king. After the first attempt, Foltest began treating me as his lucky charm. He ordered me to be at his side during the battle. The dragon separated us from the rest of the army. The killer disguised himself as a monk, a blind one at that. He let Foltest greet his children, waited until I had walked off, then cut the king's throat from ear to ear. How did he flee? Jumped out a window into the river below. Yorvith Skoyatel were waiting in a boat. It was planned. And you're chasing him because he murdered the king? I was accused of the murder. I need to clear my name. Besides, I looked him in the eye before he escaped. He's a witcher. Then some brave Temerian soldiers showed up, piled on me, and knocked me out. Save yourselves, good folk! The beast attacks! We better get out there. Someone's casting spells. And Triss and her, uh... Swaying of the hips. Now these guys in their short shorts. What sort of sorceress are you? A lot of good you did. Can't you hear me? Why didn't you help him? He's alive, isn't he? The beast nearly pulled him in the water while you stood staring like a calf at a shit-covered clover. Watch your words. Where's this beast? Ask her. Geralt. Ah, I guess we knew each other. Oh, look here. Birds of a feather. Let's say, I've heard of you. Master Witcher, this is foolish. The beast near pulled Sozek into the depths, and you're simply chatting with this damsel. So, you liking it so far? You're gonna, uh, so your friends aren't playing? It's funny, well, I guess I'm one of those. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. It uh, actually, uh, I was surprised to see that. Um, I'm, I, I, I'm trying to remember the name of the new expansion. Um, Battle for Azeroth, I think, something like that. It's the fastest-selling WoW expansion ever. A couple are, but not enough to run Mythics on a regular basis. Are Mythics uh, like raids? All right. What happened? I came to Flotsam to kill the Cairn. Cairn? The monster that has effectively blocked the port. A moment ago, I had the good fortune to see it in all its splendor, but the local folk scared it away. Good fortune? You hear that, Sozek? That was some good fortune for you. Why is the beast in the port all of a sudden, eh? Summoned by the witch, perchance? To see it in all its splendor. Um, these short shorts on these dudes is just, is driving me crazy. Uh, 
I, I, for some reason, I don't remember that from the last time I played this. Sozek doesn't look too good. Lay him inside somewhere. Right, we've dawdled enough already. Come on, lads. Let's go. What's this? I was ready for a rumble there. Shut it and come on. So five-man dungeon difficulty goes I apologize for interrupting, okay. but I am Louis Merz, and I am chief person in charge of all matters related to monster hunting in Flotsam. It is in this capacity that I must inquire if you're willing to attempt to resolve the problem of our so-called Cairn, the beast that now blocks all trade traffic on the river. So, Witcher, are we willing? I usually work alone. I was here first, and I'll not relinquish this contract. My way or the highway, as the locals put it. Fine. Your way it is. You must contact the merchants on the waterfront as regards any rewards. Madame de Tanserville has, I believe, already conducted some preliminary negotiations. That I have. In that case, don't let me keep you. Triss, how long must I wait for you to introduce us? Sheila de Tanserville, advisor to Queen Zulika of Kovir. Kovir is a long way north. True. I had my doubts if the Kran was worth the journey, but those were dispelled with what it showed today. Here to hunt down some ingredients? Triss Merigold, sharp as ever. You're thinking that? Troll eyes, ghoul venom, virgin's blood. All those disgusting marvels we take from dying species. To throw into the cauldron at Sabbaths. Right, Triss? Absolutely. Virgins are a dying breed. Oh my. Your sense of humor seems to be intact, too. But enough of these pleasantries. Tell me, Geralt. You saw the tentacle. What do you make of it all? The beast must be huge. Maybe inhabited one of the Pontar's tributaries before, hunting animals. Then it grew for some reason, and hunger drove it to seek fresh pastures. And on the Pontar it found trade barges burgeoning with obese, slow-moving merchants. Or partly correct. Cedric claims the Cairan emerged from the northern swamps approximately one month past. Cedric? An elf. Formerly a Scoia'tael. Strange bird. But he knows quite a bit about the area and its living wonders. I need to look around, find out a few things. Hmm. An investigation. Witcher's rituals, extracting secrets and such. More or less. I'll talk to the merchants about the reward, pay Cedric a visit and get back to you. You'll find me at the inn. I've rented lodgings there. On the upper floor. You know the inn's also a horror house. Thanks for the warning. Oh. Ladies. All right, all right. Meet new people. Beat some of them up. Don't tell me you like it. Yeah? Not really. It's I a like shit that hole. every NPC but has a name. folk to beat up. Ever seen the river monster, the Cairn? I have, but I'm not the talkative kind. Speak up. The monster's as big as a barn, with giant tentacles. Snatches men from boat decks and cattle off the shore. It's slimy like a snail, but fast as a thirsty vampire. What's with that belt? He's trying to hold his belly in or something? This is sort of dark. Yeah, I'm just kind of poking around. Don't mind me. Oh. Yeah, if I recall, this K Ren fight is kind of a bitch. I think. Uh, again, it's been 
Okay, when did, when did this come out? Let's see. <clears throat> yeah, 2011. So, yeah, it's been seven years. But I think I, f I, mi I might have finished it in 2012. Because I got really stuck on a part because I was kind of being a bit dense. I'll tell you what, Mr. Games, if, if if I streamed for a living full time, I would absolutely play WoW with you. How do you like that offer from the commandant? Okay. Ah. Good day. Say something, or did you just fart? Going somewhere, friend. Ha! That's just bollocks. Okay. I guess none of these guys are going to be real talkative. Alright, so... Talk to the merchants on the waterfront. That's your vest. So let's see here. Quests. Okay, so I've got these contracts. Those are done. Pretty sure WoW won't do well on an extended period on stream. Need to keep a variety. Yeah, what, what do you think about playing? Okay, so we need to talk to Laredo at some point. Waiting for Fallout and Red Dead 2. Oh, Fallout 76. Dude, that one will be co-streaming like crazy. Like, I, like, I'm all... I'm prepared to kind of... With the... Well, let's see. Maybe if I can time it right. That will go into Tuesday. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Excuse me. Because, yeah, the beta starts in October. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Um so we got the care and we got that. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. What are these green things? Got the green things on the mini map. I'm trying to figure out what that's about. I know your kind. Welcome to my modest shop. Calm down, pissed off puppy. Yeah. What do you deal in? All kinds of incense, mainly. For meditation, rejuvenation, cooking, making medicine, rituals, whatever you require. Ew. I can buy soldiers' orders? Curious.
Oh, that's my stuff. Okay. Welcome to... What do you deal in? All kinds of incense, mainly. Okay, so... My shit's on the left. Oh, you know what? I need to look at all those. So uh, I don't want to accidentally sell what I have equipped. I know your kind. So okay, Diabol, Erendite. Okay, so I, I can sell all those weapons. Cool. Welcome. All right. What do you do? All kind. Okay. So let's let's check out my armor situation. I do I do kind of look like a dumbass right now. Let's see, armor plus two. Okay. Trousers. Um, I do kind of like the herbalist gloves. I don't know, guys. Okay. We'll stick with the herbalist gloves. So that's a little better looking. Welcome to what all for meditate. Okay, let's sell some shit. Okay. Now Let's head this way. Hey there, Witcher! Are you Geralt of Rivia, sir? Who's asking? Thank you, Master, for what you did outside Lava Let Castle. Our family would have perished if not for you. Please accept this modest gift. Hey, Mark, how you doing, buddy? Trousers are not conducive to winning the war on pants. You were absolutely right. Um, yeah. Thank you. May the gods protect you. Woe to the vanquished. Okay. You know, I have to say one thing that The Witcher 3 does better than the other two games 
is when you complete a quest in Witcher 3, you get those chicks yelling where they're like, Mah! like I mean, Oh, it's awesome. Like, yeah, I mean, really, you, you feel like... You feel like a, like a million Orins. Alright. Where is this fool? Quiet woman. Artist at work. Ah. You might want to stir it. I don't stir. The short shorts. The material. See, Mark, this guy is winning the war on pants. Look at those shorts. We met in Vizzy. I stood at the gate to the outskirts. How are you? This guy's also winning the war on pants. Oh, at your service. Girls become witches too? <laughs> They're rabble on to What do you want? Heard you have a problem. Ah, if only we had just one. Highways washed out, forests full of bandits, a river beast blocks the port, and tolls are to rise. Can't help with the tolls, but the monster's a possibility. A sorceress said the same, but we've yet to see any results. She's asked me to work with her. And who's to pay your wage? That's what I'm here to discuss. The sorceress was to manage a loan. You can split that reward if you wish. Well, we're managing it together now, so as I see it, you should double the reward. <laughs> you jest! Have it your way. But if the sorceress fails, you'll be stuck here with your goods till winter. Your losses would be far higher than the cost of hiring me. See you. Wait a minute there. No need to get cross. Time is coin. I understand that very well. If your participation will expedite the matter, so be it. We'll add two fistfuls of orans, though our pouches will be empty. It's a deal. Now tell me what you know about the beast. You're the Witcher, damn it! I've no knowledge of these things. Who could tell me more? That plowing elf, Cedric, most probably. He's supposed to know all about monsters. Where can I find him? In the village, outside the walls. Now leave me be. <laughs> <laughs> Moral downfall and body. Why the hell are we stacking and restacking this stuff? Welcome. Like I said, I, I love that the each of the NPCs has a name. Time is coin. I like that choice of words. Yeah. The writing in these games is remarkable. Like, well, the writing in the first one is a little hokey in places. The writing in this one is markedly better and then even better in the third one. about that bonus? Is the work complete? Not yet. Get to work, you sloths! Huh. Okay, there we go. And actually, you know what? Bef before we pursue this further, And I may have to alt have and exit um, Discord because the noise is getting to me. We should send for Larido. Yeah, so let, let's actually talk to Larido first. Oh, is he right here? Sweet. What the fuck? Oh, in the evening. Okay. All right, in that case, let's go talk to Cedric. Lovely 
Let's go kill some monsters. <laughs> All right, so how's everyone doing this evening? Y'all ready for the weekend? Everyone got a beer in hand? Yeah, I have to believe that those doors are put there for loading. Hey, Roach, what's up, buddy? What's going on, Geralt? How can the commander of a Temerian garrison just piss all over the commander of Foltest's special forces? The Blue Stripes aren't exactly popular among common folk, in case you hadn't noticed. Like anyone who does the dirty work. But Lurito's a soldier. The worst scum gets posted to dumpy border towns like this. Incompetent fools who show off their authority to a bunch of grimy peasants. A two-pound bag of caramel M&Ms, though. Caramel M&Ms? That's a thing? Like, I've... I... Am I being dense? Is that new? That sounds... I don't know. A little town deep in the forest, terrorized by Scoia'tael. You should be in your element, Roach. Flotsam isn't just any old town, Geralt. Temeria, Redania, Kedwin, and Edern. The largest kingdoms in the north. Know what they all have in common? The Pontar Valley. The strip of land they've been battling over for generations. Exactly. And here's Flotsam, on the border between Temeria and Edern, with Kedwin lying in wait just the other side of the marshes. At the very edge of the Pontar Valley. Stuck in the middle like a candle up the arse. The north's most important trade routes meet here. Every caravan has to come through Flotsam, and anyone who wants to place their cargo on a boat on this section of the river has to bear Lurido in mind. They say Henselt of Kedwin has gathered an army and is heading for Vergen. The Pontar Valley will be on fire soon, while we, Geralt, are sitting in Flotsam, the gateway to the valley. I'd like to believe it's pure coincidence and the killer just followed the squirrels here. Naive to say the least, Witcher. We arrived in Flotsam, we saw the killer, we've pissed everyone off. What next? If the Kingslayer's in Yulveth's care, we'll have to get them both. If we go out into that forest to look for elves, all we'll find is our own death. We'll visit Lorido as invited. He may be a hick heading a bunch of imbeciles, but this is his territory and he could prove useful. The Mighty Ducks. Caramel M&Ms are the Mighty Ducks of M&Ms, apparently. I like it. I like that. So long, Roach. Yeah, it occurred to me that oop. I haven't really talked to my people much. What's up? What's up, baby? The massacre in Rivia. It came back to me, I remember. The angry mob murdering non-humans, a young boy with a pitchfork. Anything else? Death. Or a state close to it. I'm not sure. I felt life draining out of me. Uh, I was there. I arrived a moment later. Too late. Don't worry, Triss. They're only memories. We have bigger problems to tackle now. Something tells me that in recovering my memory, I'll find out a lot about what we're dealing with now. Wonder what Emilio Estevez is up to now. How's it living with Roach's soldiers? Splendid. I know every shit joke that anyone's ever thought of. Plus, I've learned how to burp out the official title of the Emperor of Nilfgaard without reaching for beer. Shorty's told me about his 16 children, all named after Temerian troop divisions. And I know his nickname has nothing to do with his manhood. Nice to know that you care, though. Glad to see you in a good mood. I think I actually like them. They're good people. One of them even proposed to me. Who's the brave man? Sorry, that's a secret. And here I thought Roach's boys had an ounce of respect for me. So, it's very interesting to me that, like, I made Triss so angry in the first game. Greetings. And uh, apparently she got she got over it completely because you start the game naked next to her. I mean, she's naked next to you. Or Geralt, I should say. But, yeah. Uh, Dude sniffing up Triss's neck. Yeah, I know. Roach, you sly dog. I'm having flashbacks, Dandelion. What have you remembered? My own death. I saw that with my own eyes, as I've told you many times. 
Yennefer gave her life to save yours. I thought you might have remembered what happened afterwards. I mean, how the devil can you be here now? I hear you, I see you, you're breathing. I, I mean, you're just alive. Dandelion, I've had a flashback or two. I don't know everything yet. So, Mr. Master Spy, what's new in the world of politics? Bard's singing about anything interesting these days? Edern's in trouble. Henselt and his great army are nearing the Pontark and will ford it and strike any day. Well, we haven't had a war in a long time. Like all little boys, he likes to play with his soldiers. But I don't think Kedwin will have an easy time of it. Edern's borders are guarded by Saskia the Dragon Slayer. Who's she? Some mercenary? A peasant girl and self-proclaimed commander of something called the Edernian Voluntary Militia. Fighting women and bards who play politics. These are strange times. I need information. Anything that could help me track down the Kingslayers. I only know gossip. Things folk have been saying since Demofen's death. People are throwing out blame left and right. One day it's the Elves, another the Nilfgaardians, then it's Rivians. Let me guess. The suspects also include a Zeracanian alchemist and a group of halflings. Bold theory, that. But the mob comes up with even better ones. Know what? Frankly, the most worrying effect of these assassinations is the chaos they've unleashed in people's minds. What do you mean? I mean chaos. People don't know what to think, who's good and who's evil. And these are tough times. Who knows what's going to happen? You gave Vernon a full report on Flotsam. Seen anything unusual around here? They've got some amazing women at the brothel. <laughs> you should take a look. One of them. You know what I mean. A town like any other. It's got a harbor, an inn, and a stinking muddy river. That's what an ordinary man would say. But we poets also look into people's souls. And things are not good. I saw a robbery sanctioned by law. Town watchmen laughing as they confiscated goods, all the while talking about how they'd finally bring order to the town. I saw drunken thugs beat up an elf woman while no one even flinched. I know these things happen everywhere, but here, it's not motivated by hatred or misguided attempts at meeting out justice. People are driven by cold calculation. They're always looking for opportunities to get a little richer. I know you. I can see you're dying to ask me. What is it? All right, Fessa. What happened to Foltest? Want to know the version that is yet to make it to Flotsam? The king died in mysterious circumstances. The Witcher Geralt, his sword covered in blood, was discovered standing over his corpse. Did you kill him? This will stay between us, I promise. <laughs> the killer escaped before I could get him. I'm being set up. So what are you gonna do? Run around swinging your sword, hoping the killer walks into range? I don't have to. The killer's in the forest with the Squiatel, and he knows I'm here. We'll find each other. Geralt, please don't do anything stupid. Don't stick your neck out. If Lorito finds out you were involved in Foltest's assassination... <sighs> <clears throat> so, Emilio Estevez... Has a film coming out this year called The Public. He's writer, director, and actor in it. All right. You know, even though I turned this shit down, I still can't hear the dialogue sometimes. Good to see you, Zoltan. What are you doing so far from home? It's a dog's life, Geralt, I'll tell you that much. You work your fingers to the bone for six years, you listen to the tirades of that old tyrant Breckenrig, you buy jewels, then she breaks off the engagement. And there I was, learning a devout. Fuck it. Out of sight, out of mind. Farewell to your daughter, the forge in Novigrad, and all the world's Breckenrigs. I'm a plain merchant, and I've made my peace with that. How are you killing time in this hellhole? At present, polishing gems for Schiller de Tanserville. Requires precision, but it's well paid. Jewelry? Not quite. The sorceress is building a magical contraption. Spends her days staring at it. A regular magpie eyeing a copper. But I don't think she's getting anywhere with it. Got so enraged one time she dashed a vase against the wall. 
Some temperament, those sorceresses. I'm telling you. Is there a good swordsmith or blacksmith here? There's a small smithy by the wall. Quite basic. The tools probably remember the conjunction of the spheres, but it'll do for weapon repairs. They also enhance swords with runes and add ornamentation to armor. Just don't do anything that'll make you look like dandelion at the opening of a new brothel. Uh. You can also look in on some merchants. I don't think the readers robbed them of everything yet. Do you know someone named Cedric? No, him. We drank each other under the table last Saturday. I barely made it home. Where do I find him? Oh, most times gazing at the forest from a tower near Lobbenden. Strange about that one, but a heavyweight when it comes to drink. Thanks. Good. Alright, I think I've talked to everyone I want to At talk to. At your service? What? Could have sworn. Playtime, what's up, buddy? How you doing, man? You ready for the weekend, brother? Oop. So where the hell is my quest marker? Named Cedric. I'm so ready for the weekend. How about you? Yeah, dude. It's like a, like I was saying before. It's it hasn't been a so how's it going, Dick? hasn't been a bad week. But it has been <laughs> like a, a lot of hard work this week. Here comes the Witcher. Think he'll agree? No, I, I don't know. Should we just walk up and ask him like that? Take a good look at him. He'd be ideal. Ha! Greetings. A word, if you will. You see. We've created an alchemical substance, and we wish to test it in Vizima, in a laboratory. Seeing as you're a witcher, we wondered if you'd be willing to test it in practice. In a year or two, given the occasion, you could visit us in Vizima. We'd examine you and reward you generously. Ah. We need to study its long-term effects. We can't say more. Are you in? I don't know, chat. What do you guys say? Am I gonna try this alchemical solution or not? Knowing I'm not gonna get rewarded for a year or more. All right, let me turn the light on here. And once again, I don't remember this at all from my previous playthrough. No? Sure, why not? All right, so... What's the worst that can happen? I am kind of curious. Any other votes on this? I'm in. Okay, we got two to one so far. Okay, and we're in. Why not? Splendid! Excellent! Now, if you could also keep a journal of the experiment, don't overdo it. I just can't help thinking about the song from Incubus. What's that? Like, I know the band Incubus. And I know a couple of their songs.
Alright, so... I have no fucking clue... ...where this Cedric is. Elf named Cedric was said to be the most knowledgeable of the world of Lived in Lovendon, a village nestled up against Flotsam's walls. Humans paid him to keep. Da -da -da -da. Ooh, ooh. Are you in? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't know that one. So. Okay, we haven't gone east as far as we can go. Let's go check that out. Maybe he's over there. Was it you who ate little red pudding? But this is a pretty impressive, uh... Well, well. I had an inkling and it didn't disappoint me. It was a long voyage to this cesspit, but it's about to make sense. Voltest's killer, live and in person. How are you? Happy and healthy? Can't complain. I am delighted, really. But you see, it's a long way back to Vesima, and I'd rather not dawdle. I lost a load of time looking for you. No reason to waste any more talking, then. Bon voyage. Listen, Jester. You're worth more to me alive. But if need be, I will take you back as a corpse. You choose. All right. Give it a shot. Drop your sword and put your hands together, or I'll not vouch for what... Shut up. Go ahead. Try to kill me. We've got a wanted man here. Grab him, boys. Look at those shorts. Look at those shorts. Okay. Cool. The alchemical thing will save over the Witcher 3, I bet. You know, I was just thinking about that. Oops. Okay, so let's... A fine mess you have here. Dwarf stealing bread. Let's see. I wonder if your machine can handle HEVC encoding. Where might you be going? Uh, what kind of question is that? Anyway, know where I can find an elf named Cedric? Don't get involved in this. Hmm, you did turn pale when we met Sheila. You must have imagined that. I know you too well. Sheila's one of the most powerful sorceresses. That's no reason to fear her. She can't be trusted, in my experience. I know her to be devious and manipulative. Any proof? She's well aware you lost your memory, yet pretended she didn't know. And why would she do that? I don't know. Her true intentions have always been hard to fathom. I'll see if I can't learn what they are. How? I'll go hunting with her, right after I find Cedric. Well, then let's go see him. He should be at the top of his observation tower. Okay. Oh, okay. I don't know if it's my phone or your codec, but the quality of the stream drops when the scene you're running through is busy. Um, I am not experiencing the same thing. Like, I've got it running on my iPad here. Hey, Belk. It'll be nearly a year now. Moril would delight in a day like this, Saharan. Enjoy the memory of her. Don't wallow in the long run. I try. I do. 
But I cannot believe all the bad blood this disappearance has bred. Don't let other Shay poison your memory of her. Hatred is but an outlet for helplessness. Thank you, Cedric. Vafail. Vafail. But yeah, I'm looking at my looking at my stream. But the HEVC encoding, I'll look into that. Okay. Are you Cedric? Who asks? Geralt of Rivia. Ah, the Witcher. And? Triss Marigold. Lovely scent, Triss. Cedric, look at me. What do you want, Geralt of Rivia? You know, Mark, actually, I did see a little bit of, like, blurring while that was happening. Or, or I, don't, I don't even know how to say it. It looked more pixelated briefly while I was doing the twitchy thing. Hey Barrett, how you doing? So why does the main character have two swords? Okay, so Playtime asks why Geralt has two swords. So Witchers carry two swords of them. One of them is steel, and the other one is meteorite. And the steel one is for fighting humans. The meteorite one is for fighting monsters. Um, I like and like the two swords is one of the hallmarks of the Witcher along with the medallion that he wears around his neck. And the medallion senses magic and monsters and vibrates uh, whenever either is near. What are the Scoia'tael fighting for? Do you ask about the old ones who hoped to restore our race to its previous glory? Or about the young ones who fight for survival and out of suicidal revenge? Yorvith's warriors, which mold do they fit? They believe they are still independent, and that there is but one just way to view their cause. In truth, however, they are but a shadow of the Enshe's former glory. They cling to delusions to the very moment when a sword or a noose ends their life, or until they realize the truth themselves, which is, I believe, the worst. Who exactly are you? One who warns humans against the dangers that lurk in the forest. Care to clarify? I am old, even for an elf. Yet the forest is older. I've lived in it for years and understand it, though it's nothing I can explain. At times I make mistakes and people don't come home. So you help humans? I just know if it's safe to venture beyond the gates or not. Maybe I'll come back when you're sober. You witches live a long life. You may indeed get to see that day. <laughs> that took me a moment. <laughs> that was pretty funny, actually. The elf woman you were talking about. How did she disappear? Sir Harim believes the forest took her. What do you believe? Moril simply vanished. Almost a year ago now. Some say she was too beautiful. And Dwan must have harmed her. You believe that? If I have no evidence before me, I try to trust my feelings. And they tell me the forest did not take her. Why would you keep that from Saharan? Because it's meaningless. Perhaps she was murdered, perhaps she departed on her own, never to return. She's gone. And neither I nor Saharan can reverse that. I'm looking to hunt in this area, and I could use some advice. I'm no witcher. I set traps, snares, try to keep Neckers away from Lobinden, that's all. I'm aiming a little higher than Neckers. The old man? Meaning the Cairn? Finally, Laredo's splurged. Listen, I'm not one to teach your grandmother to suck eggs. You witches know your work. But if you pay me, I can prepare a useful trap. What kind of trap? Puncturing trap, immobilizing trap, even decoys to pull monsters into an ambush. Whatever you like. 
Since I can easily finish off an ensnared necker, it should be child's play for you. I need to make a few orns. You wouldn't happen to have a job for a witcher, would you? There's never a shortage of work for a witcher in this forest. It's positively teeming with beasts. Though I'm not surprised they come here in droves. Know why that is? Cursed places attract all sorts of scum, like dung attracts flies. There was once a great house in the clearing. They locked up lunatics there. During the war with Nilfgaard, it was raised in a fire. The lunatics broiled in their cells. The ruins remain cursed to this day. Two daredevils went off to explore the ruins recently. They haven't been seen since. A great house, you say. Tell me more about the building itself. It was an old manor house that was converted into a mental institution. There was no shortage of lunatics in wartime. They just kept coming. Reverend Mercey locked them up in there and looked after them. If you find the two people lost in the ruins of the mental asylum, you stand to be handsomely rewarded by them or their families. No harm in trying. Wait, 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 wait. I aim to kill the Karen. Heard you might be able to help. That depends on the sort of aid you seek. I need information. We should have killed it years ago. No. Now I don't know. The beast has become too large for the riverbed. And it has strange growths on its tentacles. Extremely thick skin. Previously, it inhabited a swamp along one of the Pontar's tributaries. Completely wild terrain. Even the Scoia'tael don't venture there. You should go see the wreck of the boat it recently sank. Inspect any traces it's left. See the destruction. Where's this wreck? Venture south into the forest, then turn east toward the river. You'll find the ruins of a bridge erected long ago by the Enche. The wreck lies at their foot. Thanks, Cedric. Good. You'll find me by the boat wreck. Jeez, Triss. Sure you're not overusing those teleports? Ah. That's pretty badass. Nice, nice view, huh? Okay. So. Go. Do it, do it, do it. Yeah. Watching. Wait, 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 wait. All right, I'm going to take a quick little bio break, and I'll be back in just a minute or two.
It is brew time. Neighbor, off to work again. Witcher. Oh, somebody's house. This isn't a bar. Just two? Uh, we'll address that question in the next game. by Let's which to to the a means by which to pass the time. No so I really want to talk with Lorito. of madness. Yeah, we're definitely going to check that one out. They can't be oh my So let's see here. Is there a way... There we go. So we're going to go talk to Lorito. See what he has to say. Increases all resistance. Increases bleeding. Cat. Oh, you do less damage with cat. Interesting. Ah, I love how my dogs bark while I'm streaming. Oh, it's, okay, yeah, it's a, I remember that from... I don't remember doing much with bombs in this game. So that's kind of a nice one. I like that one. Let's make one of these. Can I kind of swallow? Yeah. Okay. The 
The joy of dogs. Yeah, well, the one you're hearing is actually my dog, like the more booming bark. That's my dog. If you hear yips, that's my parents' dogs that we're watching until Saturday. Okay, now let's meditate. Okay. Now. The fuck? Lorita wanted to see me. Commandant's busy. Come back after dusk. Isn't it after dusk? <laughs> Jesus. Are the guards fucking sleeping? What the fuck? What? The Commandant wanted to see me. Leave your weapon here. Guard it with care. It's very valuable. Wait, Wolf. I need to talk to the Commandant too. You going inside or not? Listen, friend. I'm an officer and you're a runt. And when I say jump, you will not only... Come on, Roach. Barrett, uh, I have a collie, and my parents have shelties. With these cunts, Laredo couldn't protect the port from a drunk lumberjack, let alone Yorveth. He succeeded. A ballista. The bastard's got a ballista. You know the power of this weapon. Mm. Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. Yeah, an experienced crew can release two bolts each minute, but it can't hit the same spot twice because it recoils and shifts. I've heard that somewhere before. Where did you learn about Ballista? I knew someone who knew a bit about them. Unimportant. We need to damage it if we don't want to be at Laredo's mercy. They're all drunk here now. I'll provoke the guard. Relax, Roach. I don't want to fight this rabble again. As long as that weapon's operational, no one will sail this section of the Pontar without Laredo's express permission. I'll handle this. Go have a drink. Haven't had oh. this good a time in ages. That's true. I think these drunks you know protect one. people from the scoyers. Peasants and uniforms. Plow them all, plow them all. Along came a dwarf and kicked him in the arse. Plow them all, plow them all. Oh, you are Don't you traipse plow around plow here. Plow them all, plow them all. Do that again, and I'll fuck you, mum. Now, ah. You've had your song. Care for some real diversion? Yeah, collies are awesome. Like, my collie is just an amazingly cool dog. Nothing better than a fireside feast. Yeah, my collie's 100 pounds. Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. Add plow into the mix and it doesn't get any better. What do you need, Ugly? Ugly? Well, you ain't exactly handsome. But? I wouldn't worry. Women prefer ugly men to groomed dandies. And you're ugly something mighty. Care for a romp? Can't just now, but I'll find you later in town. What's your name? Margarita. Oh. I wanted to surprise my friend, the sad-looking guy by the ballista. Some idiot wanted me to read him poems recently. Extravagance, as I say it, I didn't like it. I was thinking of something a little more traditional. What would you have me do? I don't really care. Just get him away from the ballista. Oh, now you've got me doubting he's your mate at all. But I'll not pry. It'll cost you double. That's steep. I may be a simple girl, but I know at least a few men who'd give you trouble if I told them what you've asked of me. Pay me, and it'll stay between us. I mean, no point in giving brutes and louts a good reason to perfect their skills, eh? A favor for a favor? There is one thing you could do for me. And that is? Myron and Alphonse, two of Laredo's thugs. Give him a good thrashing, and I'll even blow... I stir up enough trouble as it is during the execution. No need to stir trouble. Just humiliate them some ways. Consider it done. How much? How much? 
Come on. All right. I'm off to give the boy some diversion. Luckily, the Commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a story for you. So long as he can afford to tell it. I'll not lend an ear for less than ten orans. For a little diversion, brave one. I'm on duty. Oh, come on. Your comrades are well at it having their fun. Why should you be any worse? Right. Haven't had this good a time in ages. That's true. You know this one. A little elf was skipping down the path. Plow them all, plow them all. Along came a dwarf and kicked him in the arse. Plow them all, plow them all. Oh, you are fat, dirty, rotten scum. Plow them all, plow them all. Do that again. And I'll fuck you, mum. Plow them all. You've had your song. Care for some real diversion. Things like that, you could conquer all. Oh, my God. Oh, that's funny. Wow, she was actually on her knees. Jesus. That one struts about as if he were the king himself. Blowing squirrels. list is decommissioned. Do not Perfect. talk. Let's go see Lurido. I doubt anyone would stop you. We're too soft on them, that's the problem. Soldiers are bored. The garrisons. Lurido's busy with that witch, Sheila. Come back later. Geralt, let's wait downstairs in the yard. That's now you're talking. We don't need to look for a sky attack. Put the rebel down one by one, and we'll finally have peace. You'd go after the women, then relish killing the elven brats. So, the brats turn into squirrels. Yes. I'm sorry about the dog, guys. Um, I don't know why no one's shutting him up. Hold on one second. Okay. Do we wait until the Honorable Lady is done with the Venerable Hick? Waste of time. Looks like a good number of Flotsam's town watchmen are here. We should look around. Did you see that arbalist behind the house? I'll get his attention. Give him something to think about. Why don't you find out what they're guarding so closely? My apologies, gentlemen. I could not help overhearing your conversation. What do you want? In point of fact, it's a matter for the Witcher. I have an offer. An offer? Interesting. I suspect you did not come to Flotsam for pleasure alone. You suspect right. Do you know about the monster in the river? Might have heard something. I expect someone will hire you to deal with it sooner or later. Thus, I presume that... Stop presuming, expecting, and concluding. Just tell me what you want. Our honored host is in possession of part of a trap, built especially for the beast in question. Go on. Around back, there's a storage area where Lurido keeps the treasures he confiscates from merchants and travelers. There are heaps of things out there. Let me guess. You know exactly where I need to look. Precisely. I saw Lurido's men carrying the contraption across the garden in a crate. They placed it on a platform by the wall, beyond which lies the craftsman's district. Why are you telling me? Why? We need to be rid of the beast as soon as possible. Good luck. All right. I'll distract the guard. You sneak behind the house. Brilliant as ever. Stop talking bollocks or I'll go. Soldier, report to me immediately. In Flotsam, we cut the hands off thieves. I was looking for the privy. You're lucky the Commandant wants to see you. Come on! Huh. Commandant, sir, we caught the witcher sneaking around the garden. Bring him in and leave. Yes, sir. We were just discussing a certain matter. You here on business too? The Commandant wanted to see me. 
In that case, I shall leave you to it. Finally! They didn't want to let me in while the sorceress was here. Did you see her? Made up like a whore on parade day. They think they can do anything, those sorceresses. I heard what happened in Tamaria. You know your name's on a warrant. It's unfortunate, though nothing that should impede our dealings. See, I'm the law round here, and the law needs to know what the legendary White Wolf's doing in this cesspit. I'm looking for the man responsible for Foltest's death. Here? I know the Scoyatel had a hand in it too. It's their trail I followed to Flotsam. Lucky you found Bernard Laredo then. If you're telling the truth, your vet's got raw blood on his hands. I can help you find him. What about Vernon Roach? Why didn't you let him in? Roach? Know the aura that surrounds him? Men like him act first and think later. And when they act, almost inevitably innocent blood flows. I trust you're on our side. Whose side is that? That of the people of Flotsam, of course. Terrorized by the elven bandits for years now. Man, I love the characters in this game. And yeah, I love the writing too. It's, you know, I, this is a really talky episode, I know. There hasn't been a lot of action. But, like, the writing's so good. Like, And I, I apologize if I'm not talking more. It's just I get so caught up in the dialogue and the story and everything. But I love this kind of stuff. A local conflict. None of my business. You killed some elves on the riverbank outside Flotsam. We were attacked. You fail to understand. It's you who doesn't understand, Lurido. To tell you the truth, I'm not human. You an elf? A dwarf? No, talking bollocks. I piss on the fact that they call you freak for your white hair and glowing eyes. You're a human like any other. We're fighting a war. And you, my friend, cannot straddle the fence. What about the elves and dwarves in the trading post? The smiths, peddlers and hunters? They eat with you, sleep among you. Whose side are they on? Hell if I know. That's my point, Witcher. When you fight for survival, you need to be sure who your friends are. The non-humans in Flotsam, sure. They eat, fuck, shit among us. But when Yorveth sounds the battle horns, who knows what they'll do. I'm surprised they haven't turned on you already. How so? The town guards treat non-humans like shit. Frankly, I don't know what keeps them here. I'll tell you what, Geralt. The hunger they'd face in the forest. But I grant you, those acts of uh, insubordination need to be stopped. Soldiers are simple men. When you see your mate die, a Scoyatel arrow in his throat, it's hard to look favorable at the elf who sells your wife colored kerchiefs. You're a witcher. Your job is to protect the simpletons from monsters. I protect them from the danger that lurks amongst the trees. Oh boy. Oh boy. I kind of want to just call him a racist. Because he is. But I also got to play this somewhat politic. Oh. No! So am I just going to be blunt or am I going to be diplomatic? <sighs> yeah, I will be diplomatic. I see where this is going. Yorvet's no better than a monster that attacks those who go out to gather kindling. Matter of fact, he's worse. He's smarter and crueler. How do we get him? I don't want you to kill him. Even you don't have a hope against his entire force. I have an idea, but I'd rather not go into it now. The squirrels are up to something. Every night their scouts come closer. I suspect they plan to attack the barge moored in the port. What's on the barge? You mean who? Bandits, murderers, rapists. On their way to the dungeons at Drakenborg. As soon as... Their infamous leader joins them. The cherry on the cake and Bernard Lurito's crown trophy. Couldn't have put it better myself. As long as Yorveth remains free, humans, elves, and dwarves will live alongside each other in deep distrust. I've got to learn what the pointy-eared rat is planning. How am I supposed to get that information? <laughs> you underestimate me, Witcher. True, I have my prejudices, but I'm not blinded by them. Take your friend Zoltan, for instance. 
he contacted Yorveth. How can Zoltan help if he can't go outside the walls? <laughs> step by step, Geralt. That's how you build trust. You could start by tending to a problem we have. A beast. The Kairan has blocked all boat traffic. I'm losing tolls. Uh, that is, um, the trading post is losing <laughs> revenue. <laughs> Kill the Kairan and I'll declare your friends acquitted of their crimes. Then Zoltan can take you to see Yorveth. I'll talk to Zoltan. I trust you'll make the right decision. Farewell. Well. Okay. Um. Entry only on the Commandant's express orders. Off you go. Okay. Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. And it doesn't get any better. Luckily, the commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a story for you. So long as he can afford to tell it. Turned me away at the door, the bastard. We'll meet later. Don't forget your weapons on the way out. Oh, thanks. I'm trying to remember if these were the swords that I had at the end of the first Witcher. save let's see let's I tell him I'm taking your pouch or your pouch and your life <laughs> what did he say he said there's a third option then his hand inched towards his knife nervy what then he got a bolt in the back too bad he turned out to be poor the poor ones are always uppity Okay, nice guys. Oops. So let's meditate until morning. Okay. Waste of words. You know, I remember when the first game. Like before this was out when I was still playing the first game. Um, I was amazed that people would run indoors when, uh, or they would run undercover whenever it was raining. Okay, um... Okay, good conversation. get an idea. I guess yeah, we're going to go across the river here. Uh-oh, John.
tempted just to go ahead and pull my silver sword out. Oops. I have to say, like, the leap from Witcher 1 to Witcher 2 is remarkable. Absolutely tremendous. Oh. Okay. Slaughter the free! Oh shit. Tamaria for Tamarian! Come on! Corpse, where's the corpse? Where's the corpse? There it is. Okay. Ah, uh, more assholes. Try to get this right. Yeah. Oh shit. Uh, nope. Hold on. Uh, Slaughter the freaks! Are you still on? You, I see you playing Brutal Doom there, man. I gotta get on that. I've got GZ Doom installed. I need to actually take the... Yeah, uh, do you like coffee? I love coffee, Barrett. I have a big, huge cup of black coffee every morning. Actually, hold on. I wonder if I can use fires like I did in the last game. Yeah, you're on the big TV. Hey, wow! I feel uh, I feel honored by that. Oops. I'm on the big TV. That's fantastic. Hey, can you guys hear my son chatting away on his computer? So, locked, locked. Okay. Dagger throwing, don't give a shit. Carrying. Okay. Oh, are these... Ah, they're unlocked now. Neat. But yeah, anyone that hasn't tried GZ Doom, and along with that Brutal Doom, I highly recommend it. Excuse me. I need to be picking plants too. You guys gotta stay on me about that. Well, I'm on the big TV. That's fantastic, guys. I appreciate put you putting me on the big TV. What's up, Tris? I wonder what's left of that Rex Cedric mentioned. If the Karen attacked the boat, it's not likely to be much. We're looking for traces of the beast, not boats. 
Oh. Damn, baby. Hold up. Yep, picking the herb. Pick the herb. Sure. Like I said, I, I just looking at this and like running through this environment, they do such a good job of selling the what do how do I want to say it? The um, the illusion of a big open space. See those footprints? Yeah. Strange place for an evening walk. Unless you're looking for adventure. Hey, Rand. The medallion again. Uh oh. Oh, what's up, bitches? Wow, I'm almost dead. Nice to run into some old friends. Almost brings a tear Let's examine the traces of the cave. So if I needed to take a if I needed a potion in the middle of that battle. Oh my god. So I couldn't take a swallow in the middle of the battle. Um Shit, so what would I do? This is kind of scary, guys. What? Uh -oh. He said my name. Uh oh. Don't look at Discord. Huh. Wait a minute. What are you going to do? Cast a simple diagnostic spell. It should answer a few questions. This monster is sick, Geralt. It's dying. How much time does it have left? A few years? Perhaps a decade and change? Too long. What's wrong with it? Any information could be useful. The diagnostic spell showed that some of the cells in its body have mutated. What makes you think it's dying? I mean, I'm a mutant. The mucus cells I diagnosed are very similar to cancer cells. In some ways, they're more effective than healthy cells, but they're out of control. They converge to create a red tissue. Very unpleasant. The poor thing. But you brought up an interesting point. Want to know the core difference between mutants and non-mutants? Of course I do. The changes made through alchemy and magic in your body would require thousands of years to develop on their own. This development would result from genetic errors that would cause your body to adapt, become a more efficient organism, effectively mutate, but over a very long time. When this development occurs over millennia, across multiple generations, we proudly call it natural selection, evolution. When it occurs quickly, in a single organism or a few representatives of a species, we frown on it as mutation. And here I thought you liked me. What else? The Cairn's highly venomous. Any ideas for an antidote? Your witcher's metabolism should neutralize small doses of the toxin. But if I were you, I wouldn't rely on my mutations alone. An Ostmark potion should do the trick. I know the herb, but haven't the faintest where I might find it around here. I need to think, figure out how I want to fight the Karen. Maybe I won't need the potion. Do what you will, but don't say I didn't warn you. Sheila might be eager to get this done. 
But before you go see her, ask some of the locals about Osmark. You could try Cedric. Here's the formula for the potion. I need to take care of some things. Manage without me for a while? <laughs> see you. Can I go through that? Nope. Of course not. Who's that? Ooh, Drowner Brain. Oh yeah, let's get some uh, alchemy materials. Alchemy, alchemy. Give me lots of Drowner Brain. Come on. So, I can't heal while I'm in battle. That could be a problem. Well, actually, it's not even a problem. I just... I don't like that. Oh, Celine. White Myrtle. Um. I gotta take the fucking long way back. Man, Trist, you couldn't even have given me a lift. Come on. Damn, bro. sound in this is remarkable. Like, everything about this game is just... Like, the first game is a huge accomplishment. Um, especially when you when you consider that it's an Aurora Engine game. Like, nev like the original Neverwinter Nights Aurora Engine. It's a huge accomplishment. But I'll tell you what. It feels almost primitive compared to this game. I love the first Witcher. I was trying to find some more herb. It's over here. Yeah, like the bug sound is making me want to slap around me. Like, really makes me feel like there's bugs around. So, Great sound design. All right, Cedric. What you got? It's funny, I was just wondering when the music was going to kick in. Mongoose. Cedric, I need some Ostmark. 
It's a rare variety of moss grows underground. I know it. There are some caves to the south, deep in the woods. If Osmerk grows anywhere in the area, it will be there. All right, let's save. Let's go find some Ostmerk. Ostmerk. Want you to see a vista, I? So. There's gotta be a way to heal in battle. There's gotta be. Hmm. Mandrake. All right, so let's see here. Let's look at the map. And so, like I said, this is the illusion of an open world. Regular drip poured over, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Black coffee. I can only do a cup. I can only do part of a. Twitch loves to grief me. Just let me chat. Black coffee, I can only do part of a cup black. Regular drip, pour over, etc. I have this uh, awesome little... It's drip. But it's this little, like, single brew Black & Decker thing at, at my desk at work. Um, what the hell? Like, okay, I'm looking at my mini-map. It seems like I should be able to go out here. But... Obviously, I cannot. Um, but yeah, I get... I'm rather partial to Starbucks coffee. And I have like four different flavors that I keep in my desk. And you know, each morning I just decide what I'm in the mood for. And then I brew a single cup of it. And it is wonderful. What? There's a thing over here. There we go. Oh, oh, what are these? Oh, Neckers. God damn it. Where are you? Oh, there he is. Right, come and give me fucker. Now fuck right off. Okay, you can... Oh my god! Jesus, you guys are like cockroaches. Alright. Yeah, I've been getting way into Starbucks lately. They're a great third space. I don't know what you mean, third space. So is there another one of these fuckers over here, for real? Is that why we're still doing the music? Alright. This is getting too intense for me. Oh my god! Fuck! Guys! Seriously, get a hobby!
Are you kidding? Like, I don't want to have to wipe out the species, but I seriously will. Okay, what's that? I have this feeling that if I keep lingering... Oh my god. Yep. This is just going to go on forever. I need to move on, or else I'm just going to keep getting attacked. Species cleansing, yeah. I just want to stop getting attacked by dipshits. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, it was a contract. That's why they kept respawning. Well, that's cool. Yeah, like, chill out with the music, guys. Uh-oh. Dead guy. I think something absurd might happen soon. Oh good, more Neckers. Yeah, I think I killed your whole family earlier, sorry. So these, are, these guys are the drowners in this game. This is the first Witcher drowners are around every fucking corner. How many more can there be? Seriously, girl. Seriously. Okay, come on. Can I please pick up the body? Okay, third place in community buildings. The third place is the social surroundings separate from the two usual social environments of home and the workplace. So home is first place, workplace is second place. Examples of third places would be environments such as churches, cafes, public libraries, or parks. Thanks, Wiki. Okay, got it. I'm trying to think if I have any third places. Like, I'm very much either at home or at work. You know what? Actually, my third place is probably Bush Stadium for the Cardinals play. Am I going to find some shithead? Yeah, sorry, boring. No, it's not boring at all. Like, it just, like, a, a, I stopped and thought about it. I don't know, I'm not somebody that just dismisses everything I hear. Like when someone tells me something like that, I need to stop and think about it. Fuck, guys. Where are you? Getting a lot of good alchemical ingredients out of this. All right.
And we are confirming that this game has no problem throwing waves of enemies at you. I'm trying to get some headspace for projects, less internet grazing over there, plus caffeine. I gotcha. Yeah, the Starbucks I'm talking about, I just brew at my desk, but, um, no, I totally feel you. Do you like cold brew? Um, I used to like it a lot, and it's not like I've suddenly decided to hate it. I just don't really drink it anymore. Um, no real reason. Like, I, I used to make my own cold brew for a bunch of years. Um, and then I just stopped. Male enhancement. There's I just picked up an item called male enhancement. Not even kidding. And it's for enhancing armor. Wow. I love CD Projekt Red. Oh, what are you? Shit, you stink. Oh, shit. Ostmer. Okay. Um. All right. Kind of same. All right. Let's. Uh, and again, I, I said this over and over and over in the previous Witcher game. One of my favorite parts of the series is the alchemy part. I just, I love it so much. Did you ever try the Bulletproof Latte? Butter blend, butter blend tech in the coffee. I have never had the Bulletproof Latte. I am really boring when it comes to coffee. Like, seriously, I brew black coffee and then drink it. Um... Can't believe we missed these games first run enjoying it. Cool. I'm enjoying it too. Um, understand too, like The Witcher, with each of the three games, like no one, I, I shouldn't say no one, a lot of people played the first game, but it wasn't, it was like a really niche sort of game. Like it wasn't heavily talked about. Um, the Witcher 2 definitely made more of an impact. And, but again, it was still kind of a little bit in the niche. And then The Witcher 3, I mean, shit, like you, almost everyone I talk to that's a gamer, they're like, oh, I played The Witcher 3, but not, but neither of the other, of the first two. It's supposed to be super productive brain hack stuff, butter coffee. Ah, huh. yeah, maybe. Like I said, I drink beer, I drink coffee, I drink diet soda. Like, I'm very, very dull with my beverages. When I was in my 20s, I was way into mixed drinks. And I would try and make my own shit up all the time. I feel like we are people who only played Skyrim. <laughs> there are a ton of people that only played Skyrim. Uh, yeah. So I'll tell you what, though. Actually, like while we're paused, I'm going to run and grab another beer. I'll be right back in just a moment. Embarrassing. What's embarrassing, Barrett? It's nothing embarrassing. Games are games. Whew. 
Cheers. Uh. All right. Okay. So I'm brewing. Where brewing mongoose? Ooh, I can't brew more swallow. I've been picking up a bunch of shit though. Brown oil, bleeding plus thirty. Balka's blood. Damage plus ten. I like that. Now how's that different from Brook? Damage plus ten. Toxicity twenty five. This is duration three. No toxicity. Oh, is this like a sword thing? Curious. See, that's a bomb. Excuse me. So this lasts longer, but it has a higher toxicity, but it's cheaper. So let's let's get one of these going. Okay. Cool. So are we all set to fight the K-Ran? Wow, this game is great through headphones. Lol, half joking, but if you missed Elder Scrolls until Skyrim and are our age, you may have to give your gamer card back. Well, but you know what, though, Barrett? I know people... And actually, I don't know what your age is. I'm 40. Oh, shit. Really? Come on. Um, but I know people... Oh, God damn it! I know people my age that didn't really get into gaming until, you know, uh, say like 30. Um, and I'll tell you what, actually, actually, and you know what, in fact, in fact, I did not get into Elder... These guys are so obnoxious. I did not get into Elder Scrolls until, God, uh, probably the last five years. I just, monsters. I just wasn't that into it. Like I, even Fallout, like I, like I couldn't get into Bethesda games. Uh, I, I got very much. I went from Final Fantasy to Bioware and then only found my way to Elder Scrolls in the last several years. Now, that being said, I had played them before. God, I was just going to... Seriously? Let's see. More than one not until 30. Is that PC gaming only or console? We don't care about Fallout. Fallout is awesome. I love, I, I adore Fallout. Um, I know one guy who didn't discover gaming until kind of later in life. Um, and yeah, that's just, you know, kind of how it went. Where the hell am I going? Oh shit. Well, let's just run a thing. How about that? <sighs> no more Neckers. I'm so tired of Neckers. Come on, fuckers. Okay. 
Okay. God damn it. Seriously. Okay. Takes all kinds. It's sort of a touchstone for our generation. Not 40, but basically close enough. You're technically a millennial. Yeah, I'm technically not. <laughs> I'm straight up Gen X. My wife is a millennial. Even though she's probably close to your age where it's like millennial. You know, we're... She's never accused of destroying Applebee's, you know, or whatever insane shit that the press claims millennials are destroying. On the line. So... I cannot see on this map where I'm supposed to go. But you know what I'm talking about. Tell me about Applebee's. Oh, I hate... Yeah, I don't like Applebee's either. I'm just saying that they're, like, it seems... I identify as a Gen X. Yeah, Davlin, you and I are definitely Gen X. Um, we're both old farts. Something's troubling me. <laughs> Let's hear it. What does a bloody witcher actually... I don't want any trouble. Get it. What am I doing here? Oh, in the middle of the room. Triss, maybe? What the hell am I supposed to be doing? I'm transitional. Also, I'm a Victorian lady. Fair enough. Oh, I need to go find Sheila. Hello, Witcher. Came in. Gods, pretend you don't see him. Don't look him in the eyes. Yeah. Never ever. We actually have been lumped into the small group. They dub the Zennials. It's a short time. Uh, no, and that, so uh, Davlin, I think I'm older than you. Greetings. Because uh, I'm I'm born in '78, and that is definitely Gen X. Where the fuck is Sheila? Those woods were giving me an MGS3 vibe. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh no, Sheila's next door, okay. Uh, pretty swinging. For a while, it was Gen Y. Yeah, I remember the Gen Y stuff. Alright, Sheila. Witcher, I've been awaiting you. We need to kill a monster that sinks boats. Afraid? No, but I suspect we'll need to draw it onto the shore. Leave that to me. I can't wait. I bet it's something spectacular. Believe it. You'll do the honors. The honors? Once on the riverbank. You'll kill him. Her. Whatever it is. I never expected to see you at Laredo's. Whereas I was sure you would show up there. The Commandant is terribly jealous about his small trading post. 
Anyone of import is summoned to hear him out sooner rather than later. What did he want from you? That is my concern, certainly none of yours. We're not a tandem, Geralt. We'll kill the K-Ran together, but that is all. I thought the things said of the group at the time were more accurate of me than the millennial descriptions. Descriptors. Yeah, but the millennials, they get a bad rap. Um, like, I have some young developers at work that are definitely in that millennial uh, space, but uh, I think... It's, I think it's the same thing you see every generation where like that new younger generation that are now becoming adults are terrible and they're destroying the world with their weird ways and society's going to hell in a handbasket and all, like, all kinds of panic stuff that back in the day sold newspapers or magazines and today generates clicks on the internet. So, I mean, um, yeah, Davlin, Millennial Pink... Millennial Pink has that something Gen Y lacks. Millennial Pink, what the hell is that? What's that? It looks impressive. A megascope. What does it do? Many complicated magical operations. It allows me to communicate with other sorceresses, for instance. If we're going to work together, we should get to know each other. Is that so? Very well. Ask what you will. Zoltan told me you hired him to make something. Your dwarven friend has a way with stones. He helped repair my megascope. The set of the diamond must be very precise if it's to focus the light appropriately. Millennial pink sounds like a pedophile shocker. God. God. <laughs> Triss claims that Karen was born of magic. She's right. Something that large couldn't possibly evolve in the waters of the Pontar. It looks like the result of some botched experiment. It's growing rapidly and will probably age just as quickly. Did you find out where the Karen came from? I didn't even try. So I take it you know it was created by a mage? I guessed as much. And what of it? Do you wish me to feel guilty, apologize for some madman? I don't intend to. How did you know it was a mage? I didn't. Just guessed. I've got everything I need. Let's go. Excellent. Ready? Are you wearing makeup? We all have our rituals. From what I know, Kairans are colorblind. Enough, Geralt. Time to draw the beast out of the water. Got an ace up your sleeve? I always do. Don't get eaten, and we'll soon both be heroes. I hope you're right. You descend into the lair. All right, let's drink some potions. Okay. Mongoose. So let's see, Rook. Oof. Definitely do swallow. Okay. High toxicity, but looks like he's drinking a five hour energy. Okay, let's do it, Geralt. Shit, where'd she go? Excuse me. The total hashtag they went big, especially men and anyone being criticized for being too weakly millennial and owned it. It is a powder baby pink. It's like the Pantone color of the generation instead of your. Huh. Damn, girl.
can't save. Oh, shit! Okay, I get it. Unforgiving as hell. Oops. Okay. So here then. Whoa. Oh my god. Air gun! Trap it with the air gun! You come down and trap it! Okay, come on, come on, get up! Kill me. Oh my god, are you kidding? I'm, I'm stuck. <sighs> well, death by bug. Awesome. Yeah, 
Yeah, I kind of, like I saw the underbelly there. I'm like, oh, that's where I'm supposed to go. That was cheap. Cheap. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Guess they'll never learn. Actually managed to not get hit that time. That's amazing. did it. Not a bad fight, wouldn't you say, Geralt? Are you alright? I'm fine. I've used up much of my energy, so if you needed help... I've learned to help myself. Hmm, a sorceress worried about me. Should I be scared? Playing it tough, like every witcher. I had no idea it'd be so big. Triss was right, it's mutated. Magically induced. I must get to work. Collect the most valuable ingredients. What a shame so much will go to waste. Forgive me. Time is of the essence. Farewell then. Don't forget to collect the reward. Oh, I won't. Ooh, level. Time to level. So I can finally open up these other paths.
Oh yeah, we're definitely doing fortitude. Hell yeah. Ooh, actually I can do two. Oh. Care of redirection, I don't care about that. I don't care about dagger throwing. Let's see, let's look at alchemy. What do we got here? Ooh, yeah, let's definitely boost vitality. Yep. All right, and quick little save. See, I still want the Witcher 3 one, because the Witcher 3 one, I mean, it's a bunch of chicks just yelling. Whoa! Like, this sounds so muted and almost kind of sad. Like, the Witcher, one, the Witcher 3 one, like, seriously, they're really into it. You know, I wonder... Let me just... Let me see if I can take anything off the Chiron. <gasps> yes, I can. Yes. Yes. Hey, you know what else I can do? I think I can do it in this game. Iron trophy hanging from my belt. I think. Oh, there it is. Hanging off my back. Yep. But see, The Witcher 2... So this is another game where, like, I, I always joke that I suck at games. And I'm sure... That somebody will watch this on YouTube and be like, oh my god, you suck. But, I mean, like, I played through this on normal difficulty. And I feel like that's quite an accomplishment. We're playing on easy because I just don't give a fuck anymore. But, um, yeah. Like, I played through a few hard games and succeeded. Like, like this, the the... The first Divinity Original Sin uh, was pretty challenging. I played through that on normal difficulty. So yeah, in essence, people can just kind of kiss my ass, you know? Yeah, I'm glad that I still have it. Yeah, whatever it is. Oh, Lord. So let's collect my reward, and then I probably need to talk to Laredo after that. I love how alive this town feels. And that, that's something that the original Witcher did remarkably well for what it was. Which is really making a place that feels lived in. Everything in order? Job done. The Kieran's dead. Job's done. Good work. You've earned your reward. Quiet woman. Artist at work. You might want to stir it. I don't stir. I work the material. I don't that's, see if... Well, well. How's the Commandant as a host? It's people like him who might help us. Or put us in shackles and throw us into the river. He told me they're keeping Scoia'tael prisoners on a barge in the port. Did he mention if Kieran Epesnelen, Yorvet's right-hand elf, is among them? No. He may know something about the Kingslayer. Let's pay him a visit. Whoa! Alright, baby. 
I'm following you. What's in these crates, boss? King Vridank's treasures. Hey, fuck off. What do you want? To speak with the wounded prisoner. No one's allowed. I'm here on Commandant Laredo's orders. I already cut a deal with you, but... So get out of my way. He won't tell you much. He's dying. Oh, you incompetent fools. Shut your traps. Stop bloody moaning down there. Look, coffers dozed off. They beat him bad. He's got at least a dozen fractures. I'll need your help. What do I do? The spell I'm going to use is painful. It could kill him if he thrashes around. I'll use the Axie sign to calm him. Perfect. Wakey, wakey, coffer. You'll fall asleep forever any day now. <laughs> Look, Birdie's all wet. Hey, Birdie, you get wet just looking at me. Get ready, Birdie. We'll be there to see you right after all. It's no use. You wish, Horson. I'm no traitor. He's raving. That gun? Where am I? In Flotsam, on the prison barge. The convict's barge? I'm done for. How did Laredo's goons catch Yorvith's right-hand elf? I was betrayed. How else? You'd be dying in pain if it wasn't for us. If it wasn't for the Dwan, I wouldn't be here. There's a Witcher in Yorvith's unit. Like every Dwan, he turned out to be a bastard. What happened? He betrayed us. He said he had an offer for me. So Thanks, I Barrett. Where roses of remembrance grow. I'm streaming Vampire this weekend. Down. Roses of remembrance? Yes. Some of the last in the world. He thought that I'd betray my elven brother in order to control the unit. I refused. And there was a fight. I've never seen anything like it. No human can move that fast. It was a massacre. I was the first to be hit. Thus, I survived. I would have bled to death had Laredo's men not found me. Letho will kill Yorveth, and all will be lost. So many dead, so much suffering, all for naught. Why does the Dwan want Yorveth dead? He used us from the start. Our hatred, but he no longer needs Yorveth. Sees him as a thorn in his side. I don't know what Letho wants. What does Yorvith want? Why Flotsam? Go plow yourself. Only I can warn Yorvith. Tell me. You would also betray him, Dwan. In that case, I'll ask Yorvith himself. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Letho, he's the Kingslayer? Yes. We got what we came for. What now? Yorveth. What if Yorveth already knows? I've got an old saying all ready for him. My enemy's enemy is my friend. Warn him, Gwynplaine. Yorveth fights, for that is what he does best. He's Enshe, a real one, a free one. Among the last, fighting makes sense. Now more than ever before, there is still hope. What are you talking about, Kieran? Hope for what? For change. For a better tomorrow. I'll not see it. They'll torment me to death on this barge, and I'll go gladly where the apple trees bloom. But you must warn Yorveth. Yennefer told me that Ciri has departed for good. Hmm. She inhabits another world and is happy there. Before she left this one, she gave us the Isle of Avaloch, our island. We stopped counting time. Oh. Huh. 
People believe that the wraiths of the wild hunt are immortal. They race across the heavens, gripping in their bony hands swords, their lightning bolts. They take away mortals, ever expanding their cavalcade of spectral riders. They burned the orchard and the house. In their armored boots, they trampled our island. So I've read the books, but I haven't played this game in ages, so that's really interesting to me. Geralt, are you alright? I've been to the Isle of Avalach, among the apple trees and the mists. After the massacre in Rivia, Suri took me there, and Yennefer. The Wraith Riders kidnapped Yen, and I pursued them. But... Triss, this is important. I feel like everything's coming together. When the Witchers found me barely alive a half year ago near Kaer Morhen, I was fleeing the Wraiths of the Hunt. They continued to pursue me, in the outskirts, then in Vizima when I killed the Grand Master. Now I know it was no coincidence. Kieran mentioned Roses of Remembrance, growing somewhere near here. Cedric claims likewise. If that's true... Right now I should be searching the forest for Yorvith, not looking for flowers. I could restore your memory. You sure? Everything seems to indicate that. Whatever's blocking your memory is clearly weakening. I think I could break that barrier with just one petal from a Rose of Remembrance. Those flowers are truly powerful. In that case, Yorvith can wait. Want me to go with you? I'd love your company. All right then. Let's go. Cedric mentioned there are some old elven buildings near the Cascade in the forest. We should start there. Lead the way. Shut your traps! Stop bloody moaning down there! Look, the coffer's dozed off. <laughs> wakey, wakey, coffer! You'll fall asleep forever, any... So I'm following you, Triss. There we go. Boss, so what about that bonus? So I'm going to take a quick little bio break, guys. I'll be back in just a minute.
All right, guys, we're back. Let's go. Keep following Triss. Actually, let me open another beer. This red ale is actually pretty good. From O'Fallon Brewery. Yeah, it's just called STL Red. Pretty good. Definitely not a fucking IPA, which I can't stand. That's kind of a running joke around here. Oh, baby. Why you gotta be like that? Holy shit. Hold on. I need to collect their guts. baby. Lead the way. Glad you're here. Oh, I think we've arrived. The Cascade, the Menhir. We need to take the path leading upwards. Gardens in the middle of forests. Those elves really like to complicate things. Ah. Stop whining. It's not far now. Cedric told me a beautiful legend about this place. Legends are almost always beautiful, especially elven ones. The reality often leaves a lot to be desired. Well, Cedric also said the site itself was something wonderful. The rose must be here somewhere. I'll look around. Alden and Cymoral. Cedric said Cymoral eclipsed even Francesca Findebear with her beauty, and Francesca's reputed to be the world's most beautiful woman. Cedric drinks too much. He really has visions, you know. He really has the gift. He could learn to control it if he drank less. Cedric drinks to get rid of the visions, and that's something I understand perfectly well. Oh my, love it. Look, girl, it's beautiful. Triss. Slimeril's Rose of Remembrance. Legend has it they wilt unless nourished with blood, and also if they're sold. But give it to someone you love, and it'll live forever. This one's for you. Oh, Geralt. I want you to keep it. If there's any truth to the legend, it shouldn't wilt. Even if you pluck a petal or two, 
Thank you. This is the statue, Curly. Don't mind us. Imagine the corn we'll get. I won't leave the brothel for a month. Six weeks, even. Where does that woman get the gold for all this? I mean, her and the old man, they're buying a new house. And now these statues for the garden. Must be defrauding the treasury. What's a town chancellor do anyway? They'd be plowing hard to move. We'd never shift it in one piece. I know. We'll break off the legs, the heads, remove it in bits. Break off your own head, clown. Shut your trap, cunt. Oh. And... Kill them! Hit the freak! Watch out! Ah! what the end shape built before human ships ever appeared in the Pontar Delta. Elves possess a sensitivity humans can't ever hope to acquire. We're trapped. Looks like we're stuck. Mm -hmm. Well, there must be another way out of here. Mm -hmm. Why are you looking at me that way? Do I have something on my face? What's going on in that head of yours, Witcher? Oh, you know. Stuff. You could use a bath. So could you. Yeah, Mark, pretty much. Uh -huh. This is the Harry Potter soundtrack. Oh, good point. I wasn't paying much attention to the music. <laughs> The dandelion. Nope. A witcher's blade. Wow, chicka wow wow. Letho comes here to think. Excuse me. Well, he's not here now, so we've no reason to stay. The Dwan stole the story of Elden and Cymeril. But they now steal our roses of remembrance. 
a more silly and shallow tale I'd never heard. An enchanted wood, a beautiful elven couple living within. A handsome human prince arrives, riding a milk-white stallion. Bloody Dwan. We Enche remember how it was. Limitless devotion, passion, commitment, and sacrifice. Legend has it the lover's sighs are enchanted within these very stones, though only those in love can hear them. Singing bushes, jabbering stones, delving hogwash. Yeah, Mark, yeah, CD Projekt Red recruited a master at human models. We should take walks yep, more often. I agree. For a while there, I forgot all about Flotsam, the Scoia'tael, the Kingslayer, the whole world, really. Nice to know I still have that power. I need time to devise the spell. It could take as much as a few days. Mm -hmm. What do you plan to do while you wait? I'm going to meet Yorvith. Well, don't get yourself killed. That'd be pretty stupid now. What are you getting at? You're about to recover your memory, which will give you a whole new perspective on things. We'll learn what happened to Yennefer. Uh-huh. And you expect me to drop everything and tell Roach, Hey, it's been great, but I've got places to go and people to find? You know, you could. I, I mean, you don't really owe him anything. I'm just afraid you'll get caught up in something and you won't be able to back out. Yorvet's a sly old elf. He's been fighting humans for a full century at least. This Letho is no common bandit either, and I shudder to think who put him on the warpath. It's a mire, Geralt, deep and hungry, and it could swallow you whole before you know it. It possibly already has. I want you to know that I'm prepared to travel to the end of the world with you to save Yennefer. I owe you that. I owe her that. I'm prepared to drop everything. The trappings of court life, politics, the regicides, I could even live at Kaer Morn. It's up to you. Triss. Let me finish. I can only say this once. If you want to go alone, I'll understand. And I won't try to persuade you otherwise. I can't know what the future holds. I don't know what else is hidden in my mind. But whatever it is, whatever happens, I don't want to lose you. I'd have to be an utter fool and complete ingrate to let you go. That's... kind. Thank you. Does that mean we're leaving the regicides to Roach and tending to our own matters? I really would like to go, but I need to clear my name. Foltest's men and bounty hunters of all kinds would never let it go. We'd be fugitives, and that's not a life I'd want for me or for you. Besides... I'd feel as if I'd given up when there was still something to do. I'd feel like I fled. And as I see it, we haven't lost yet. Whatever your decision, I want you to know you can count on me. I need a few days to prepare the spells. I need to talk to Zoltan about Yorvith. It's not a closed conversation. We'll talk again, but only after I've settled things with the Kingslayer. I want to open this. Ooh, the wild hut. Oh, I got some good shit in there. Yo. Yo. Ah. There you are. Is everything all right? This is nice. What a beautiful place. Very. How do you find us? Finding those I seek is a speciality of mine. Now, let's get out of here. The Scoia'tael are out in droves. Okay, hold up. Let's see. Yeah, the Wild Hunt is central to the Witcher narrative. Well, the Witcher games narrative. Um. Okay. Um. 
myself nothing for armor or weapon. Okay. Rita wants the Scoia'tael gone for good. He didn't say anything specific, but in his mind's eye, he saw them on the prison barge already. Yorveth's outsmarted bigger fish than the Commandant. Lorito's got something going with Sheila, so I'd take him seriously if I were you. You never know. Maybe the sorceress hunts more than monsters. <sighs> You'll get a chance to show your medal. If we're to capture Foltest's murderer, we'll have to clash with the Scoia'tael. I sent the boys out into the woods. Tough going, too dense. My scouts got ambushed and barely escaped. It's no picnic hunting elves in the forest. Tell me something I don't know. My people saw the Kingslayer again. He knows we're here, but he's not even trying to escape. Seems he's waiting for something. I think it's our move. So long, Roach. Ooh, what's that? Bryonia, okay. Excuse me. Man, I'll tell you what, this game needs fast travel. I know, I'm like some soft, you know, weak, terrible person, but I really like fast travel. Oh good, more necklaces. I was just thinking. I really miss trash mobs. Die. Oh wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. What was I just looking at? This thing. Destroy the nest. Okay, let's destroy the nest. Come on, come on. Got to blow up this nest. Yeah, alright. Oh, hey, Tris. Oh, whoops. So what does girl say here? I've got to blow up this nest. No. Oh. No, I know. I know. Hold on. Do I have bombs? I have one salmon bomb. How do I throw the bomb? Fuck, I really should pay attention. No? Alright. Okay. Oh. 
All right, let's go. I don't know if baby doll's waiting for us or not. Oh, good. Oh. Stop doing that, I'm sorry. Davlin, if you're still on, are you streaming tonight? I'm guessing at this point, no, but asking for a friend. No, nah, just chilling. Okay, cool. I appreciate you still being here. So I'm curious if these have... Like, it'd be kind of cool if, like, these decomposed more and more. Something's troubling me. Oops. Let's see. What does a bloody witcher actually eat? Uh, mushrooms? Spuds? What huh. spuds? Hanging out in a few chats and doing world quests. I figured world quests were getting boring in stream at this point. You know, um, yeah, I, I don't know if you remember. The other night I did the same thing in KOTOR. Where I actually played a portion of it off stream. Mm. What's up, baby? Okay. Look, people! I spoke to the Commandant. The future hardly looks bright for the non-humans in Flotsam. That fucker's only waiting for an excuse. One small provocation by Yorveth and he'll attack us. How do you know? He had it by chance. Saw him walking through the port one night talking to himself, the batty bastard. He mentioned a new order and a world for humans only. He laughed and shouted curses at the prison barge. The scum is up to something. Yorveth must sense it. He's doing everything not to provoke Lerido, but his Scoyatel might have a different opinion and less restraint. Any news? Triss has sniffed something out. Apparently, there are prisoners on the barge in the port. Squirrels, no less. Zoltan, I need to ask you a favor. Shoot. I heard you know the local Scoyatel. You heard? Meaning some goat's arse and a helmet hollowed it out in the market square. I need some way to get to this Yorveth. You know, I don't want you thinking I'm all chummy with the Scoyatel. And Yorveth detests me. Why would you want to see him anyway? He knows where the Kingslayer is. Yorveth? And here I always thought I'm a common thug. All right. No reason to sit on our arses. Come on. You can tell me everything on the way. Oh, I didn't... I thought... Lead on, Zoltan. Tell me, who said I have contacts with the Scoyatel? Lerido. What a prick. That's why he wanted to hang you? For making deals with the squirrels? What? I met a few, yes, but made no fucking deals. What about their leader? They say Yorveth's mad, but the Scoyatel are at his beck and call. Sod knows what he wants. Hope he'll tell me what it is. Tell you what, of two evils, Lerido's the beggar prick. Because he almost hanged you? 
Because he stirs up the locals against non-humans. And there's work he's doing with Kedwin. What's his angle? Greed! King Hensel would gladly annex more land and grant Lerido privileges. Come on, we've got a long way to go. What? That was weird. Okay, this is actually where we're going to stop for the evening. Um, let me see who we're going to raid. Let's see here. You made it to the end. <laughs> yes, you did. Uh, we're going to raid its Mars attacks. Uh, she's a super cool artist gal, and looks like she's doing some StarCraft 2 right now. So stick around, say hi to her, and uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll be back on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central with more KOTOR 2. I'll be back with The Witcher 2 in a week at 7 p.m. Central on Thursday. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. You guys make this so much fun. I love playing these games and talking to people about them. Um, like, it really is a high point of my week. So, you guys rock. I appreciate you. And, uh, actually, I'll be back on this weekend with the vampire at some point. I'll let you all know. Hugs and kisses.